Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, we would like to welcome you to our MILAC webinar. Um, our today topic is MILAC Trace, the installation, um, licensing, and also how to update um, the software. My name is Florian Knut. Um, I'm the product manager in charge for the MILAC Trace software. And next to me is Daniel Werner. Um, the um, yeah, IT supporter for Miller Trace and other network um, issues. Yeah, welcome. Good morning and good afternoon as well. Yes. So our today's agenda would be licensing of Miller View and Miller Trace, um, installation checklist, system and hardware requirements, and connection updates as well as updates. So so let's start. At first, I would like to tell you something about MailerTrace. What is it? So it's a documentation software for the complete instrument treatment process. It starts with the load of the washer disinfector. Uh, after finishing, you can approve the washer disinfector load. After that, you load the autoclave. You can approve it. And at the end, you can print labels for your wrapped instruments. So you have the, a complete documentation um, of the complete instrument, instrument treatment. OK, let's start. License form. So in, if you get delivered one uh, Mailer Trace software, you also have in the scope of the delivery the license form. The license form should be fulfilled with the data of the practice and all serial numbers of the devices. You will um, send us this license form with this data and you get back it with license codes for the devices. This is pretty important. Um, and our recommendation is to um, that the form should be uh, filled completely before you start with the installation of the practice because you will need all the information for the installation. And as you know, for Miller Trace, you have no extra costs for device licensing. So it means if you have just one or you have 12 um, devices, it is almost the same price. The installation checklist. This is very useful tool for technicians or um, guys who um, will do the installation. Um, the installation checklist, is, I think it's um, a document about six um, pages. And it includes instructions for the installation, um, all connection options of the devices, the needed hardware, so cables, adapters, and so on, the system requirements, and also the license form. Um, yes. You will find it on the service CD for download. And although after the webinar, you can download it directly here. This is very useful because the checklist um, Will give you some points you maybe don't uh, think about um, and if you can mark all the points for you then you know you are well prepared for installation in the practice the system requirements um, i think it's yeah more or less easy and to pass because um, you can start from windows 7 i think this is more or less the standard um, yeah and something else your processor user memory and free memory i think um, yeah, it's each middle class PC will um, pass this system requirements. Installation requirements. Um, if you install Miller Trace, you will see that the setup file is really big. It is about 480 MB because of the um, Microsoft database SQL. Al um, around 400 MB are just um, the size of the database. An internet connection is always required, except Windows 7, um, because um, of the database, um, it will automatically um, try to looking for updates in the internet. So for that reason, you need internet. Further, it is very useful support. Um, in case you have some trouble with Miller Trace, it is easy to support um, if you have an internet connection, because maybe Daniel will connect with um, Miller, uh, with the team viewer to the practice PC and can um, yeah, support um, directly on the PC. 
if you have an installation, think about that you don't take a brand new PC. Um, if you you know if you have a brand new PC and you have the first time connection with the internet, the PC always try to make all open Windows um, updates as possible. Um, and if you have Windows updates, you cannot uh, install Miller Trace at the same time. So it will take a long time. So in best case, um, if you have a new PC, make it ready. So make all um, Windows updates before and then install Miller Trace. The PC must be connected to the power supply. I think it's clear. And um, what I already mentioned, the first installation can take up to 30 minutes because of the SQL database. Um, so use the time for anything <laughs> um, useful. So maybe set up the devices um, for the connection. So here you see the connection options with Miller Trace. This is also part of the installation checklist. Maybe you have a 31B plus, then you can decide. I can take the serial connection um, via USB plug to the PC directly, or you can maybe use the Miller Netbox, scoring to the switch and um, over the Ethernet um, interface. Or the Miller Therm it has uh, an integrated um, um, Ethernet interface, so it's directly um, um, to the switch and to the Ethernet switch. Um, the Duck Universal, um, I think most of you will know it. It's the only device which is not from Mela. Uh, we are able to connect to Mela Trace. Um, therefore, you need a serial cable and also a serial USB adapter, and then you can connect it. And also for the two Mela Sealed um, devices, Mela Seal 200 and Mela Seal Pro, um, you will use the serial connection. So, update history. You know that we have launched Miller Trace, I think, in nearly um, four years ago. So, our first version was a 3.8.1. Um, of course, it was really small, cute software with uh, <laughs> a lot of bugs. <laughs> so, but um, in, the, in, in the update history, um, we already uh, we established more and more features and, um, of course, more and more languages. Um, so with the next update, we uh, included the Duck Universal and um, we also had new uh, language, uh, languages. As, um, it was Polish and French and so on. Uh, I think the most important update was the 3.551. It was the so-called Mela Trace 2. Um, it is yeah, the standard, as you know, today. So um, we have a, a huge number of um, uh, new features. So load the Mela term. The load can be deactivated. No load, new load functions. So we can take a barcode, the risk category, tray content, and so on. And of course, the automatic connection of devices if you use a TCP connection and so on. So that's, I think it was the most important update. After that, um, we, we, we um, um, take the new new Duck Universal firmware with the new display and yeah, some other um, small features and of course new languages um, to um, make it more interesting for several markets in the world. So today we have included 10 languages. So if you have a practice which has an older version, maybe a version um, before 3.551, um, how to update it. At first, note the current IP addresses of all devices and the COM ports as well and all log files. After that, save the database in Mela Trace. Then close Mela View and Mela Trace. The uninstalling is not necessary. You can just um, um, install the new version. At the end of the installation, you get the question if you like to overwrite or update the database. This is very important because if you use update, you will um, save all data. So it means all load elements, all users, and so on. If you take overwrite, it is really a new, fresh uh, Miller Trace and all information um, yeah, are 
not available anymore. At the end, check the connections um, to the devices and also the settings of Trace. This is very important if you have an older version because of the huge number of uh, new features and um, also more things to, um, to, to check or to, to set up. Um, so you have to use or you have to need um, to, to do, yeah, to, to, to check the settings if anything is um, fine or is everything um, how the practice um, would like it. Yeah, so uh, about the availability of, availability of updates, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, not every update is important for every user. So I think if we have the version 3.55, one, it is in most cases um, enough. Um, if you have an older version, it is very useful also for the practice to update it. The next update um, will be uh, released on the EDS 2017. Um, I think, yeah, you will, you will see the next two months. We will have, um, yeah, uh, I think uh, some interesting new features. So, um, yeah, it. Will be surprised about it. And currently, we sent the latest Miller Trace version as update and also the Miller Trace demo version by email if you request it. Uh, in future, it is our plan to provide both versions on our homepage. Um, I think you, you know it as a brand new homepage. And there you have the, um, the area for the Technican login, and there you can download versions. So um, I told you something about. Um, what about the versions? So how do you know which version is installed? If you start Miller Trace, um, you can take a right hand click on the Milak logo on, 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 on the uh, right corner. And there you can find all information. There you will find the, the current installed version um, and also the serial number and so on. So that is um, really important. Okay, so I would think this was the first point of the webinar. It was a take, uh, the theoretical part. Now Daniel will um, introducing something more practical. So and he going to show you um, how to license and so on in Mela View. So okay. Yeah. Thank you, Florian. For your explanations, now we are here on my you know, on my own desktop from my computer, and what you see here is that I already installed or I start the installation from both um, yeah from both parts from the software. Um, you see one setup or one window is from the successfully software installation from Miller View Three. Yeah, and here in the front you see the setup window from Miller Trace. Yeah, it's um, the installation is successful and it ends now with these two windows. I click here on finish for the first and finish for Miller View 3 as well, and it will start now. With Miller View 3. In the first step, I have to choose the language, and Florian told you that we have a lot of different languages available. And yeah, choose what you want. For our webinar, I click here on English. So, and now we come to the first point of licensing. That means um, if you have the fulfilled registration form with all the different device licenses, licenses in front of you then you can start with uh, with the first machine yeah? and you have to give a name to the first machine and in my case I can say it's uh, Miller Therm yeah? um, what you can do as well is if you have two Miller Therms you can say Miller Therm left or right or one or two what you want yeah it's your name from the machine or washer, for instance, and you got a code uh, on the registration form, and the code you have to type in here. The code is calculated by the serial number, and that's the reason why it is so important that you contact the practice before you start with the installation in order to ensure 
all device licenses according to the serial numbers are correct. So, my Miller Therm, the license is 28321A11 and and the last gap 1B40. So now I can click OK and the software opens and we are here in the main window in the main view and left hand side we see different points yeah, now we are in the overview then we have the point connections to connect the different machines what I show you in the next webinar we have the point extras and here in extras you can change the language later on as well that's possible we have here the Miller Netbox configurator for the Pro class and S class machines, which should connect to the network via the Miller Netbox, and that's the configurator. We have the device manager to add a license, to delete a license, depends on the case. We can start here, right hand side, the Miller Trace, and we have the point automatic email notification that means when an email client is installed on the computer and the Melac device um, yeah, sends an error protocol to the software because of whatever, then it is possible to, to define some email addresses and probably from a technician or from the, from the service company and that email address will get these protocols, these error logs and this is helpful. For the doctor, because you know what is wrong, the what is wrong with the machine before the doctor figures out, oh, my machine has a problem. Yeah. I think it's a very good sales point. And yes, then yeah, the point left hand side will trace again to start the software, and in the point further information, we have the operation manual inside. That means when something is not really clear, then it is possible to yeah, to open the PDF with the yeah, with all the information, the operation manual. So I will start or I will click now on the device manager because I have more than one machine. Now when I click here on it, I see my Miller Therm from the first licensing, and now I click on new to the next and I'll get um, the option to type in the next name. My next name for, for my next machine is um, the Autoclave, the Autoclave Premium. So I can type in the name Premium Plus. Yeah, and the license according to the serial number, which I can find on the registration form, is now 29321. A25 and the last block is 113F. Click on OK. And I see, OK, left hand side the name Premium Plus, the serial number. I can check now is my serial number correct? Is it the correct code? Yes or no? And yeah, furthermore, I have a third machine. Therefore, I click here on New. And my third machine. Is a 31B. Yeah, I type in here 31B, and I have to type in the code again. And the code for that machine is 3F13. Next block 3007, and the last one 0720. So click on OK. And I got it. All my three machines are licensed in the software. So click on exit to leave that option. And now I will start the Miller Trace the first time because I have to yeah to activate the Miller Trace license, which I got before via email. And yeah, the first login, the first time. Um, is always the same. You can find this information in the operation manual or on the, on the 
recover from the Mela trace package and the username in that case is melag admin and the password is melag click on ok log in and I get the question what I want to do the first time please choose an option for licensing open a new license or request a new license when I would start the request procedure now then I have to wait because we need a bit time as well to issue everything and to send it to you via email so yeah the best option the best way is to to get into the practice well prepared with all the licenses and with a license file for Mela Trace as well so click on OK my license is here on the desktop in my Mela Trace folder I issued that folder with um, several subfolders one is for the database backup Florian told you and explained you that we are working with a SQL database and therefore it makes sense to save um, a backup from time to time into a folder you can use a folder here or on a network where you want yeah? everything is possible we have here the point for or the folder for the device protocols and I see here inside four different subfolders one is for the DAC universal one for Melasir, Melatherm and premium and here in that folder hopefully everybody is doing this is saving the installation files and the license file into, into that folder here that is my Miller Trace license and now I click OK open yeah, and now Miller Trace is open and I can start with the configuration the first step should be always the view the look into the user administration and to check if everything is correct yeah if the address and the street and the house number and things like that if everything is fine and yeah then if everything is okay then you can start with a user administration configuration or if you find out oh here's a mistake a problem then please get in contact with us immediately and we can issue a new license and to implement the new license is quite easy via the help center in the help center you find here the big button for licensing and when you click on that point here you will get the question again implement or request a new license you can correct everything and send it to us and we will issue the license send it back to you and you can implement it that's the way so that's for now everything um, licensed is now or are now the machines and Miller trace is open and I would say Florian please tell us the next secrets Oh, thank you, Daniel, for your great explanation regarding licensing. So we are nearly on the end of the webinar. Um, at the end, I would like to give you a short overview about the benefits um, of Miller Trace. I think most of you uh, will know it very good. Um, as I said at the beginning, Miller Trace connects all cleaning and disinfection steps of the complete treatment um, process so it ensures a complete and comprehensive documentation um, you can trace each instrument in this um, uh, uh, in, in this documentation um, you can um, customize your Miller trace version for the practice so you can deactivate some functions you can activate something so it's um, yeah how, how the practice would like to work with and yeah you can connect all devices with a serial interface from Melac and also the Duck Universal 
very interesting is I think it's uh, the model of licensing, meaning you buy just one Miller Trace license and you can connect um, as much as devices you want. I think the maximum is about 15 devices, so um, <laughs> I think that should be possible for everyone. And yeah, of course, um, you know Miller Trace, it's a really um, you um inter uh, uh, really uh, uh, really sorry a uh, really um intuitive nice interface so it means that you have um, a touch um surface um which is um yeah really nice to to handle for the for the practice so yeah i think that's everything for the moment we would really like for your attention um we hope we yeah, that you will be uh, our guest again, maybe in a later webinar. Um, so I would recommend to check our brand new website um, from time to time there. We will publish all um, webinar dates um, for the next month. Mm -hmm.